you need dynamic greens in your landscape because the landscape uh, is often carried by the quality of the greens you have. Now we all know you make a green with ultramarine blue and, and uh, a yellow, like yellow lake. Mix it together, you get a green. Okay? Now, what's the problem with this here? I got a green. I can put it on my landscape, right? The answer is no. Because what we got here in front of us is way too chromatic. It's going to look like it just came right out of the tube and it will pop off any subtleties right off the canvas in your landscape. So what you want to do is you want to get your basic green. This is a middle value, a little dark value. And you want to split it off into a couple different piles. You see this? Now I've got my three piles of the exact same green. Now let's modulate these piles to suit our needs on the painting. One thing I like to do is I'll take a burnt sienna and I'll mix it into one pile and that neutralizes the green. That gives me a grayer green that uh, I'd like to use when it's a mixture of woods like you're seeing through the woods and the leaves are back in the darkness of the woods. And that brown in there allows the green to, to kind of sink into the woods itself. So those are the subtle greens that are coming in the deep shadows of the woods. All right, let's come over here. Why do I have my red here? This is why you get your red right here. See that? Now I just neutralized that green with the red and what this does, for some reason, <laughs> it makes it gives it a purplish green, if that makes any sense. You see that? Now this green is in the darkness of the twilight, like a twilight green where the sun is not hitting it. Right? All right, now let's go on over here. Take the white, and I'm gonna mix it into this pile. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna make it a much more cooler green. You see, the white always makes the greens cooler. All right? Now I get that cool base first before I go back to the yellow. And this is gonna warm it up. So I have a green that's in the sunlight, and that's what the yellow's there for, all right? It's in the sunlight, it's super bright, but it's not jumping off the page as far as chroma goes, all right? So with these three tr uh, initial piles, I got a nice warm sunlight green for leaves, highlights. I got a nice purplish green for the dark shadows in the end of the day, and I got a warm green that's the sitting the leaves that are sitting next to the tree branches, perhaps in the back of the painting or in the deep shadows of the painting.